So I gave myself some crazy lower back pumps uh, about a few days ago. It was a lower day and I was doing the back squats and just uh, it was a lot of volume for that day. And uh, like, and I feel kind of dumb because I think about a quarter into uh, my sets, I felt it coming in, but then I was like, eh, nah, nah, it's fine. Uh, uh, you know, just, just drive with the legs or whatever. And then boom. And uh, today was supposed to be my, <clears throat> you know, next lower day. Uh, and, and when I, and I warmed up like a mother effer. And when I went to go squat, I was like, nope, no, the, the back pumps are still too bad. Uh, so I just did a bunch of more lunges. I did uh, really light hinges. And then I just did a super set of just like push ups, sit ups, and junk. And that's why I kind of miss uh, doing squat every day uh, because now I, I only squat like twice a week. And so it's like it, <clears throat> if I fail at doing optimal like for that day on the squats and i'm like oh man like i missed out on it and, and now the next time i can do it is going to be so long from now and blah 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 whereas when i squatted every day it was like um it was like i could just have like a really light day or warm up <clears throat> you know just warm up and be like uh, hey, throughout this week, I need at least two or three heavy sessions. And then so I would warm up and then I would feel it. I would feel like, okay, today is going to be that heavy day. No. Okay, fine. I got the next day at least. And then next day I warm up. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Let's, let's go. Let's go heavy. Right. <clears throat> but now I don't have that anymore. Uh, and so it sucks. And, uh, you know, I just got to be mindful of myself. I can't just, uh, go squat heavy. Uh, or, or, or I, I, you know, I, I can't just uh, just power through a lower back pump and be like, all right, fine, let's just go. Because uh, I think this might last two weeks at the longest, um, probably a week. Uh, it, it feels a lot better than it did like uh, two or three days ago. Uh, if anything, I thought it was gone, but I try to work out <clears throat> like in the morning today. So maybe if I uh, worked out in the afternoon when I was completely uh, warmed up and maybe I could have squatted but uh, oh well and uh, most of the time uh, I for some reason I, I always feel like voicing uh, when I'm slightly injured or hurt or whatever I mean and, and it's mostly because it's on my mind and that, that, that's what I want to talk about like it, it's in my head and, and it's and it's messing with me and it sucks you know, like if my shoulder's injured, I'm like, well, this sucks, you know, because I really want, uh, you know, to keep progressing in, in my vertical presses and stuff, but I can't and it sucks and, and I want to cry, blah, blah, blah. You know, same thing with uh, knee tendonitis. It's like, darn, I really want to uh, progress in the squat, but I can't. I got to slow down. I got to do this. I got to do that, blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and it just circulates in my head. And, and then when I go and talk to people, <clears throat> that that's the thing I, I I just feel like talking about because that's just what's in my head. Uh, well, regular, <laughs> you know, it's kind of the, that thing. Like uh, we don't really think about the positives; we only think about the negatives. Because uh, I I never feel like going to talk to people like, yeah, man, I I completed my uh, sets in the chest supported rows, and I think I might be able to add like two and a half pounds. That was pretty good, and you know, these pulls are really progressing really well, and da 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 da. You know, I, I never feel like talking about stuff like that uh, because, I mean, really, that, that stuff doesn't really ruminate in my head. I'm like, no, that, that's what I'm supposed to do. That, that, that's what lifting is. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's a, getting the reps and sets done. And then uh, yeah, if, if I'm getting them too done, then maybe add more volume or add more weight or whatever. And then, and then uh, uh, see, see what's up there. And then it's like, if that was too much, then reel back, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> You know, but but then when I'm injured or something's off, that's what I feel like talking about. And then I go and uh, talk it out with people, and mostly that just don't lift, and they're like, they, they they're just so taken aback, like like oh my god, like 
oh fuck maybe you shouldn't even be lifting if you're if you're so if you're if you're so prone to injury and it's like well, 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 it's not like these are crazy fucking injuries. I mean, these things just fucking happen and they're red flags. And uh, when I when I come on to a red flag, then I just reel back. And then I there's certain things that I can do in order to uh, make sure that the healing process happens and let the healing process go. And then once I'm ready to go, then I go. You know, I mean, they, I mean, they, that's how serious injuries actually happen is when uh, the red flag is up, but we can still go out of our way and do the movements and then we still go and do them and then bam, snaps. You know, it's just a uh, injury. There's there's red flags, you know, and, and you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling to. Uh, uh, always uh, have like these weird leaks like that's what these injuries feel like you know these weird leaks and then I have to like stop everything and then just concentrate on the leak and make sure it doesn't get any worse and stuff it's like I, I feel like that happens a lot uh, where I just have to stop on I mean because <clears throat> I'm not I'm not hitting any strength standards you know I want a three plate uh, back squat so bad but I want to do it <clears throat> where my toes are uh, pointed forward, uh, you know, uh, uh, slightly less in shoulder width stance and going ATG. That's how I want my 315 squat to be, you know, because I could probably do a 340 now if I uh, squatted like a stupid power lifter or like everybody else squats, but, you know, oh yeah, and then also like no heel shoes, I want flat shoes, um, you know, no belt, uh, you know, but... You know, but but that but then that wouldn't mean anything to me if I if I did it uh, if I did a 340 squat like a power lifter and I'm like okay cool but I know if I tried to do it ATG I could only do 275 so it doesn't mean anything to me you know I'm not, I'm not meeting that I'm not meeting a vertical press uh, standard I'm not I'm not me I'm not I'm not meeting a lot of things you know and uh, you know as far as uh, on a hypertrophy standpoint it's just like I I neglected isolations for like probably a good year year and a half or something and uh, I, I don't I don't look aesthetic either so it's like there's there's that as well I'm not meeting strength standards and I also don't look like I don't lift and then I, 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 I'm making progress and then bam knee tendonitis real back bam shoulder tendonitis real back bam lower back pumps okay real back you know and then if I express this to people they're like well fuck you know like that sounds like hell and you know I mean I mean, I, I just felt like that's just part of it I mean who who I, I just feel like uh, the, these kind of things aren't really voiced uh, that often I mean cuz uh, every now and then I try to venture away from like the regular people that I watch like natural hypertrophy or Jeffrey Verity Schofield or uh, basement body bodybuilding and stuff and then I try to see like other like uh, fitness tubers and stuff and, and, and no everything about them it's it's always fucking going great and you know they've lifted uh, for for months or years or whatever and they look cool and, and they lift heavy and stuff and uh, and, and and just it's the same fucking video over and over again you know may, maybe a little two minute generic thing about programming like how to program and, and then just the recording of their lifts and stuff <clears throat> and, and, and and there's never really like uh talking of this kind of things you know it, it's just always it, it's always them giving the same simple bullshit advice that everybody fucking knows but you know it just uh, it just, I guess the fact that it, it takes a while to any, for any of this to happen, it's just, it's just, that's just what makes everything suck about lifting, I guess. But, um, I, I just wish this stuff was a little more, uh, out there in the open, like as far as like getting injury or, or risk management and, and, and whatnot. You know, because when I try to talk to, about it with the generic people, like, they're just, like, so taken up, you know, they're just, like, like, I, I, I really, I, I really feel, they, they make me feel like I'm so stupid, like, I'm so fucking dumb and, and whatnot, but I'm the one, you know, putting in the effort, I'm the one putting in the work, I'm the one that's aware that I'm injured or, or that something's off or that I'm fatigued, and, uh, and then I'm the one that, uh, 
you know, then, then calls the shots. And then I'm, I'm still going to go lift. You know, I, I feel like I should get, <clears throat> you know, some validation uh, for that. But, but no, it just, it's just, I'm just like this uh, asshole. Like people make me feel like I'm an asshole when I talk about, uh, you know, my, my, my little moments where, where I'm hurt and stuff. You know, and then one guy gave me this weird, fucking stupid black pill. Maybe he was just really drunk or high or something. He was just like, uh, oh, so what? Okay, you got knee tendonitis, so now what? What's going to happen now? What? Uh, so what happens next time you get injured? What happens the next time? It's like, what the fuck do you, what kind of fucking stupid question is that? It's like, I'm, I'm just going to fucking, I'm going to do exactly what I do now. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, realize that something's off and I'm going to reel back and, uh, and then, you know, I'm going to go back, you know, it's, it's like, um, <clears throat> and, oh, and then again with my knee tendonitis, it's like my knee tendonitis is pretty good now. It's, it's weird. You know, I just, uh, I just started focusing more on like, uh, I really need, uh, an exercise, a movement where I'm solely, uh, focusing on the flexion of the knee. And I chose that to be lunges. And then I was like, so I'm doing these and I want to strengthen my knee. I want to strengthen it. I want it, I want it to become bulletproof. Like that was my intention. And then, so I do them like on and off or maybe every day. And then if it's like a consecutive day, I only do like a set or two. And then the next day I'll do the actual like three or four sets or something. Um, and, and it's helped. It, it, my knee is good now. I went from like it feeling hard to touch to like now it's like it's great now you know like i can go back to like uh squatting heavy and and this and that you know um <clears throat> and i knew that was going to happen i was like yeah uh i have tendonitis now how do we heal tendonitis let's heal the tendonitis tendonitis healed go back to fucking lifting same thing with lower back pump. I have a lower back pump. What do we do next time? Next time, I, I feel like I have a lower back pump coming on. Get off of that fucking shit. Don't go and fucking squat more and stuff. All right, that that's we're done for the day. Uh, you know, if I feel my lower back taking over, then that just means my uh, my 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 legs aren't aren't uh, aren't there for it. Aren't there for it. You know, it's like okay, we're done. My 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 legs are done. You know, my if, if my posterior, if my lower back is is taking up the work, then then no, then I gotta stop. And you know, it, it sucks that I I, I had uh, reps and sets written down uh, for that day to do, and you know I couldn't do them. But that's it, right? <clears throat> but you know. Uh, lifting YouTube is going to be lifting YouTube, and they got to make it marketable. They got to make it uh, uh, sound cool, sound good uh, to people. You know, because what uh, what kind of fucking shit is that? What kind of shit is that to tell people like, uh, hey, you already hate lifting weights. You're already a lazy piece of shit, and now we're fucking asking you to go to uh, exert yourself like three to six times a week for a little no freaking gains, and you're so fucking fat that you, you won't be able to see the muscles. Uh, from all that fatness anyway so so we're asking you to exert energy we're asking you to restrict uh, yourself from like uh, eating uh, the way you used to and stuff and, and stave away from like uh, all, all the things that you liked that that made you not uh, be a muscle building boy oh and also you're going to get fucking injured you're going you're going to get tendonitis you're going to you're going to get pumps you're going to you're going to hurt you're going to you're going to feel you're just going to feel weird shit sometimes it's not going to feel sore it's going to feel like oh shit it's something is something wrong like yeah and i don't know that might happen uh every other month you know something you know and then you know uh, you know your whole little oh i want to hit this pr i want to hit that oh i'm going to hit this too fucking bad now you got to fucking stop you might have to fucking stop for weeks you might you might have to uh uh get away from doing sets of eight and do like sets of 15 or whatever just so you can like move it you know, like, you'll still be able to do your lift, but instead of doing your sets of eight, you might have to do, like, sets of 20 way before failure and stuff, just so you can get blood pumping through that. And then, once you're recovered, then you can't go back to the old weights you were doing. You have to you have to almost start all the way back. And sure, there's some muscle memory there, but that's a bitch, you know? And then, you know, so maybe spend uh, a few weeks 
doing shit, and then a few weeks trying to work back to your old weight, and now we can progress again. You know, and throughout all of that, uh, we feel like, well, how am I, how am I building muscle? How am I building strength if I'm, if I'm just worried about recovering or trying to get back to my old self and stuff? And my old self at the at the time already sucked, and I didn't uh, like, uh, I didn't like it. It wasn't strong. It wasn't aesthetic. It wasn't anything. And I'm trying to build back to that <laughs> base, you know. But yeah, that's gonna happen sometimes. And uh, have fun. Yeah. Uh, keep being small, keep being weak, and you're injury prone, and uh, everything sucks, and, and fuck it, you know? <laughs>